All right. Am I live? I hope I'm live. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. I know the time. The time is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, y'all. I never go live this late. I never, ever go live this late. However, I'm so excited. I have been getting an influx of things from friends, and I also went shopping. So um, I have a lot to share with y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all my friends, too. You know what I'm saying? My success tribe. So I want to like share with y'all what I got. So I'm gonna wait till I get um, a little bit more people on before I get started so people won't miss this. Um, also, this is an impromptu live, so um, I didn't really anticipate coming on tonight. So um, I guess you can call this a pop-up. Um, but I wanted to talk about what I got. And I'm going to be starting with what I got from the Cuteness Boutique, which is um, my girlfriend, Trika Brown's uh, Etsy shop. She is the CEO, and her shop is about planner accessories and much, much more. So I'm going to be sharing what she sent me now. She didn't send me, I didn't get stuff like only from her shop. I also got stuff from her, um, just, you know, just like from the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. And then I'm going to also share with you what I got from uh, Vin Von Ali, my girlfriend Michelle shop. And this was her insert that came in my order from her. And it's just a nice, pretty advertisement. It's very nice with the shirts. And I don't have this shirt yet. I need to get that shirt. So I wanted to um, keep this. And I don't have her, Sister Ming. I have Sister Holiday, but I don't know. I think I might have used up all my Sister Holidays. And then, of course, I have Michelle, her avatar here. And yeah. And here, this is. Um, talk, this right here is talking about Michelle's podcast. Hey, Joan. Hey, Vicky. I, I didn't plan on coming on here, y'all, but I just got in the house and I really wanted to share like all of the stuff that I had been accumulating from my friends. So I got a nice little haul and, you know, some happy mail to just share. I just want to share with y'all. If you up and it's late at night and you don't have anything to do. Um, hopefully you can stay on with me because I know it's late. So um, this is Michelle's podcast, Healing Through the Word. The name of the podcast is Healing Through the Word. And you can access the podcast on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, and Copy RSS. Oh my gosh, this podcast is everywhere, y'all. So I'm quite sure you have some way to access this podcast. And um, she's about to launch a monthly sticker subscription, y'all. Ooh, that's new. Did y'all know that? And she said you can sign up for the newsletter via the website. So make sure you sign up so you can get the new new. And then this is when she goes live. So every Sunday and Friday at 1 p.m., every third Thursday of the month, a thankful Thursday, and every fourth Thursday for interactive Bible study. So this is like a one-stop shop little advertisement. So they could just show you. All right. So let me show you what I got from Trika Shop, the cuteness boutique. Um, I have this here. Trika gave me this a long time ago. It's like a paperweight, but it looks like a diamond. I think it's so cute. I'm just going to leave it here for an accent for right now. But um, I ordered from the Cuteness Boutique a lot of jewelry, y'all. I, I just kind of went cray-cray. Um, but I think these are so pretty. They're like Alex and Ani, but a little bit more, you know, fashionable. So I have the, um, the Chanel number no. 5 one here. I have the Bling Star. I have the cute little... And that's my dog, y'all. Y'all might hear my dog. I don't know what's happening with my dog, but my boy's out there with him. Um, I have the lipstick here. 
I have this one that says faith, hope, and love. And I have this one. This is another. This is lipstick with um, some color palettes for your eye eyeshadow. So I got all of these, y'all. Oh, you have the red one, Vicky? You have this one? Do you have this one or this one, Vicky? This one? Hey there, Delinda. I'm just sharing what I got in the mail. I got some happy mail and some home stuff I'm just sharing. So I ordered five of these from the Cuteness Boutique Shop, and I'm just showing you. And when, when I put them all on the same arm, y'all, it looks so cute. Hey, Michelle. So you have this one, Vicky? Do you have this one? So I love these. And you know I'm extra, so I'm going to wear them, like, all at the same time, like, together. You know, you can wear them once, you can wear them like once, or you can just put them all on. I'm not gonna put them all on because if I put them all on, they're gonna make a lot of noise stuff, but they're gonna be so cute. So, uh oh, wait a minute. I don't, did I just break the thing? Oh no, I broke it. All right, wait a minute. I might have to get some, I might have to get some super glue to keep that. <gasps> no, it's broke. See, you can't have heavy hands when you're dealing with stuff like this. Oh, y'all. Oh, shoot. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have to get some super glue. It seems like the little thing came out of here, out the hole right here. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm going to have to put some super glue on that one. Um, But, yeah, I'm going to be wearing these. But I'm not going to wear these out. I'm so scared, y'all. I don't want them. I don't want it to come off. So I might just wear these when I'm doing my little videos or something like that. But they're cute. Glue will fix it, Michelle. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting a little glue on. I think it'll be fine. Because it's on there now. I just need to keep it on there. Okay. All right. So I got those from the Cuteness Boutique Shop. I also got these beautiful pins. Probably need to close the jump ring. Yeah. I'll figure it out, y'all. I figured out, but um, I was excited about these little cute little pins because, and I'm sorry about my dog. He's barking and I had no idea why, but I love these little thin pins and I got some paper right here. And these are gel because they have the little, oh my gosh, this writes so nice, y'all. Look how easy that writes. Oh, that's so nice. And I like that the decoration is on the top and you can put the top on the back so I can write. I can write with the decoration on it, which is cutesy. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I'm like, stop it from the boys are down here there. When I told them, I told the boys to keep the dog quiet. Obviously, they can't do it. Um, but I got this one with the turquoise butterflies because I love my favorite colors are turquoise or teal and pink. So this is the exact same type of um, pen. Yeah, they, they they both write the same. They're cute. And then Tika also sent me this beautiful clip. It's like a satin rose, a satin turquoise rose. And I love that clip. That's so cute. And this is not from her shop, but she bought this for me. Isn't that pretty? Look at that L. That's so cute. I love this. I can't wait to wear this. Who had this on? Somebody, a celebrity or somebody on TV had an L on like this. I cannot remember who it was. But this is so cute. So thank you, Trika, for buying that for me. And then she also, remember she, who was on Trika Streets when Trika said that she got these planners from the Dollar Tree? She sent me one, y'all. And this is so cute. It has two books in it. See that? And I like it because this is, can be like a little catch-all planner and it matches this pen. You see what I'm saying? It coordinates. It coordinates. <laughs> she, we could be salt and pepper and Spinderella. Who's Spinderella? We got to figure out who's Spinderella because Spinderella didn't have a good time. 
So this is so cute. So I got the cuteness boutique pin on with the Dollar Tree planner and it's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I love it. I love all these. Trika, I was so excited when I got her items in the mail. And then Trika also gave me these. She knows I'm on this thing where I'm creating bookmarks. This is like fat paper. I mean, I can do so much with this, but I want to create a big fat bookmark and put a little tassel on it. Oh, so this is like plain white card stock paper. Um, I can create dashboards with this. I can create tippins with this. So I'm so excited. It's hard paper. So I'm really excited about things I can do with this paper. And it's 100 sheets in here. That's pretty good. Thank you, Michelle. Please like and subscribe, everyone. And I'm here uh, with my friends this late night. You know, if you're chilling in the house, come chill with me because I'm just going over some stuff that I got. Um, Trika also sent me these two from Michael. She, she put me and Michelle on FaceTime, y'all. She was like, I'm in Michael's. Look what they got. And so I actually picked out these books. And so this one is a um, Stickables floral book. And this one is a faith um, book, which I thought this one was really pretty because it has my little colors in it and stuff. Um, I'm not going to go page by page. I'm just going to do a quick flip because I got a lot to show y'all. So this is how it looks on the inside. In case you want to go to Mike, go to your Michaels and see if they have this. And this is called Stickables. Um, it doesn't really have a name, but you can tell it's faith because it says faith right there. Oh, okay, Joe, be careful. And then this one is what is this one called? I like they don't name their books, do they? I guess it's just floral stickle pack. But I'm gonna show you. Look at those, those are pretty. I like those. And then they have the ribbons. And they have a little bit of foil. You see that? That's pretty. That's pretty too. Okay, so I got those two books. And the last thing that Trika sent me was this beautiful garden Bible. And she got it on sale for $2. And that's good. That's a really good price for a garden Bible. And it's the NIV compact uh, Bible. So another Bible that I can use, like I have a little Bible like this and I use it. I only highlight scriptures about finance, but I can use this one and only highlight scriptures about praise or only highlight scriptures about, um, I don't know. Maybe I can just study stories in here. Like I have different Bibles, so I really don't, you know, I can parse out how I use the Bible. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to do with this one. So that's it from Trika. So thank you so much, Trika. I really can't wait to dive into those things. So now I'm going to go back to Michelle Benbonelli. I got some stuff from Benbonelli. Hi, Marvelous. Is Marvelous on here? I didn't see her. Oh, Mama Davis. How am I missing everybody? Let me scroll up. Hey, y'all. I am doing just a pop-up live showing what I got. I got a lot of Happy Mail and I got some haul stuff, y'all. I went to Home Goods and stuff like that, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all. But before I show you that, I wanted to show you what I got from Ben Bon Alley. Um, Michelle has these um, speech bubbles, y'all. And these are small ones. And I like that she has blank ones for you to write your own because she has her mini faithfuls. And so you can pretend that they're saying words. I thought this was a clever addition to the collection. And this one says, time for church. Lord, I praise you. Study the word. Hallelujah. Not today, Satan. Digging for spiritual gems and speak, Lord. So I like that. And then I got this cute little... Um, Freebie that says, thank you so much for your continued support. I always like to get these little Michelle's your show shoe. These are your Michelle's your show shoe. And then this is new in the Vin Von Alley shop. It's the uh, virtual or physical church attendee. So some I do both. Sometimes I attend church virtual. Sometimes I go into church. So I like this and I do, I use my um, Christian planner for sermon notes. So I'm going to add this to my 
um, Christian planner for sermon notes, but she is fierce, honey. She's going back to church, ready to go. And here she's relaxed and very attentive. And here is the scripture. I like Michelle always puts scriptures with her um, stickers and it says, and let us not neglect our meeting together. Yes, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near Hebrews 10 and 25. I love it. So in addition to these, I, when you go on Michelle's site, you can't help but see this. I got this journal and it's so pretty, y'all. Um, it's like a mat. It feels good in your hands. It feels really good in your hands. It's like a mat. And it says, your thoughts are not my thoughts from Isaiah 55, 8. And then look, y'all, on the back, it has been born, Ellie. Come on, Michelle. I like it. It shows you. And then, like, when you open, look at that black. Look at that black right there when you open it. Now, I rarely see that. I rarely see when you open it, it's a different color from this. But that gives it a little character right there. And then guess what, y'all? These pages are already perforated. So you can just, if you wanted to just take a page out, look, look how easy that page comes out. Look at that. So easy. So I like this because you can just have this sitting around. And if you need to grab a sheet of paper just to take quick notes, you can do that. Or you can just leave everything in here and just use it as a journal. So I, this is my first time getting a journal like this where you could just rip the pages out that easily like that. I mean, I like it a lot. And it has the black on the back too. So I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. Michelle says she's going to put prayers in hers, but I kind of already have a prayer section in my wall binder. So I don't know. Y'all give me some, give me some ideas. Like what can I do with this journal? I don't know. Y'all have any ideas? I got a war binder that I, in my war binder I have a prayer section, um, a Bible journaling section. I have a meditation section. I can't remember everything. I don't know. I'll figure it out, y'all. I'll figure it out. And then the last two things I want to share that I got from Michelle were these cute little mugs. Fill my cup, Lord. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'm actually gonna drink coffee out of this because I love drinking coffee. I got my Keurig downstairs, or if I'm gonna use it to put my little, you know, my little pins in. Here's my little pin from Trico. You know what I'm saying? Let me put my other pins in here. I don't know. I might be using it to put my pins in because it's so cute. That's nice. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's just really cute. Um, yes, I got my order. I'm so happy. And then here's the other one I got. Not today, Satan. Is this Sister Pam, Michelle? Who's this? Is this Sister Pam? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, Michelle, that's a good idea. You can. I guess you can never have enough prayers. Oh, you had this cup. You had a cup too, um, Michelle. Ooh, you had the cup too. This one, Mama Michelle. This one's very pretty. Yeah, this is the Pam. Okay, so the Pam said not to dissect. Okay, so that is my haul from Vimpon Alley, y'all. So make sure y'all go over to VimponAlley.com. Use Lakeisha twenty. For 20% off if it's not a sale item. The next thing I want to share with you is what I got from La Francis. La Francis is not on here. She's probably asleep for work or something like that. But I got surprise happy mail from her and she sent me a couple of um stickers. So I wanted to share with you what La Francis sent me. I thought it was so sweet. It was kind of a surprise. I didn't know she was sending me these. And so I, I think these might have come out of a Happy Planner sticker book. I'm not sure. Or oh, I really like this one. And I'm noticing what she did. She sent me stuff that I like. This is Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, La Francis. This is Christmas. And then these have the colors that I really like in them. She knows what colors I like. And then um, 
This one is, is this one looks like it's spring. And this one's pretty too, the gold and black. And then she sent me some words. She, she knows I like words. So I thought that was so sweet of La Francis to send me all of these stickers. Uh, I got, and, you, and I am good. If you've ever seen me plan in my planner, you know, I am very good for um, piecemealing stuff together and making it look like a kit. <laughs> uh, Michelle said there will be a new release on Monday. Ooh, with a sneak peek tomorrow. Michelle, are we getting a sneak peek tomorrow at one during your live? Let us know we're getting a, a sneak peek tomorrow at one during your live, Michelle. Because I can't wait to see what else is coming out. In, in Vin Von I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna have to do a whole Vin Von Alley shelf, you know what I'm saying? With all my Vin Von Alley stuff on it. Okay, so y'all make sure set your set your clocks for 1 p.m. tomorrow. Michelle is coming on and showing sneak peeks from her shop, y'all. And then La Francis, thank you so much. I am going to add these to my arsenal. So exciting. Um, and then I got an order from D.E.K. Y'all know, I wasn't ordering no D.E.K. before I met Trika. Now I met Trika, I'm ordering all this D.E.K. Thanks, Trika. <laughs> so they, um, D.E.K. always gives a little free clip. So if you uh, want to order from D.E.K., you're going to get a free clip. So these are the two clips that I got. And they have the same um, sort of uh, material, material. All right, so DEK always gives you freebies. So these are my two freebies. And yes, I use them because they're spoiled and I am spoiled by the foil. Yes. And this is my first, um, let me put these over here so you can see how these kits these gorgeous kits look. Look at that foil, y'all. Oh, look at that foil. Oh, I love it. So this is called Peachy. This is the Peachy collection. And you get three different girls with three different colors. Um, you get this. Woo wee. I can't wait to use this Peachy. And then you get this one. This is seems like a full kit. This seems like a full kit. This is a lot. This goes with the Peachy. And this goes with the peachy. Woo! And this goes with the peachy. All this goes with the peachy. This is what a full kit is at DEK. It comes with a lot, y'all. And look at the full. I can't wait. You know where this is going. You know where this is going in my passion planner. I might use this tomorrow. And usually when you get kits like this, you can use this twice in two different um. Two different planners, honey. This is a lot. All this came together. Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Y'all, this is the ball. Yes. All right. So that's a full peachy kit that I got from DEK. And then all the rest are mini kits. This one is called Spring Mood. And look at that cup. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, y'all? It's called Spring Mood. Look at that. Woo! And you see, I love this little cup with the little face on it. I like things with that little face on it. And this is a pink coffee maker. I think that's a coffee maker. Here's some pink washi. I mean, it's just catered to the planners, okay? And then... Where's Sheree at? Because I saw this purple. I only think about Sheree because Sheree loves that purple, honey. Look at that heart. I love that. This one is called Purple Dreams. Dream, 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 dream. And then um, here's some purple fingernail polish, your purple nighty here. So this to me will probably go on myself. My self-love planner because it's about like, you know, getting ready for your night routine. This one is another mini kit. This one's called, oh, this one doesn't have, I think this is a freebie. Maybe this was a freebie. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. But I love that this has the Rascar cart on it right here. 
and it has planners right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's foiled up as, as the other ones are. And then I also got this one. This one's called Made with Love. So, ooh, she's baking those cupcakes. Look at that cupcake right there. That cupcake looks so good. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love it. And then this one is called Fleur. Fleur. I guess that's another name for flower or something. A whole bunch of flowers. And then this one is called just simply dream. The other one was purple dream. This one just says dream. Yes, I love the foil too, Michelle. So pretty. And then this one, oh, when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I love the colors. Look at the colors on this one. This one's called the rose. Okay, this blue and black theme. I can go to town with this blue and black theme. Woo. So I really like that one. All right, so those are all the things that I got from DEK. The next thing I wanted to share really quickly is a couple of things I got from the Dollar Tree. Trika's not on here, but she loves Wonder Woman. And when I saw these bandages, I thought about Trika. I said, let me just grab these and send these to her one day. So these bandages are for Trika because she loves Wonder Woman. <laughs> but the other things are just like stickers. So I got these cute little cupcake stickers I was thinking about using in my recipe planner. From the these all came from the Dollar Tree. I also got this summer one. I think I might have shown you all this summer one before. And then I got this one with the little birds and flowers on it. I got the Alfies here. Um, I got this love one. Okay, my anniversary is coming up, so I might do something with that. Um, here's some more Alfies, and then the rest of these are like stencils. Because I'm trying to get into Bible journaling using these stencils. This one is more like blocks. You probably can use this one in your planner. And here's some with some words on them. Alfie's. Here's some more that can go into a recipe planner. Um, Trika likes unicorns. Here's the unicorn. And here's some fun words, joy, fun, life, etc. So that's my little mini stash from um, the Dollar Tree. So make sure you get to the Dollar Tree because this stuff might run out. You can't trust the Dollar Tree, honey. All right. Anybody got a subscription to the Honey Bee Shop? Oh, <laughs> Mama Davis, I know a lot of Dollar Trees suck. I don't know why. But it seems like the Dollar Trees down south are so much, as you go north, the Dollar Trees get worse. <laughs> so I got this. This is actually my kit from last month, but I never, ever opened it. But I'm excited to open it now because I'm going to go wild. And we are going to Disney World in um, Anaheim, California. And this uh, Honey Bee Shop pack is a Disney theme. And so this is the Disney pin that she put in there, which I think is show shoot. And um, this is my first time opening it. So let's see what I got. I'm just gonna take everything out. I'll save the paper for last. So the first thing I wanna share is this um, sticker book. Now I have to say, I have, I've, I've been with her for a long time, so I have a sticker book like this from her already. Um, but honestly, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Uh, hi, Makeup by Key. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm just going over some things that I got in the mail and some things that I got from the store. So this has a jump band on it. And it has sleeves for you to put stuff in it right here. So, and it has an extra jump in. I guess this one goes, oh yeah, this one goes in the middle. Why is this out? It's supposed to be like this or something. I guess I need to put it together. I think you pull this through like so like that. I think. And then use this one to go around like that. 
I think that's how you do it. So that is a um, sticker book from the Honey Bee Shop. And then it came with the, I'm not going to open these, but this is three different washi in here. And they all, I don't know if you can see, they all have Mickey Mouse on them. And then this one is a clear one. I have no idea what it says. It has Mickey Mouse on it, though. It's a clear one, but and it has Mickey on it, but I can't see it. It's in the pack. But all this washi came with the subscription. And the subscription, y'all, is not expensive. It's like $35 or something like that. Oh, I love when she sends these pockets because I use these pockets a lot in my TNs, in my traveler's notebooks, um, to give me some extra pocket space to put stickers and stuff. So, and I like to use this backing for extra paper. But here's the pockets you can put in your planner. Oh, look at the Disney castle. That's pretty. And here's another one with Disney. Oh, that's so cute. That's in color with in, in the shape of Mickey's ears. Oh, I'm definitely going to use that. That's nice. So look how many pockets she gives you. One, two, three, four. Four pockets. And this is the card. She always gives you a nice foiled, a nice card that tells you everything that came in it. So you get two journaling cards, six pattern paper, one full acetate, one Full vellum, 10 page sticker book, full box sticker pack, one 15 millimeter full washi, three five millimeter full washi, vinyl die cut pack, mouse pen adhesive pockets, new jelly sticker keeper. Look at all this you get for like $35. This is why I like the honeybee shop, y'all. Oh, you signed up this month, um, makeup by Key? Key, you signed up for this this month? Hey, Carlin! Welcome! Yes, Jones, spring mood. Um, so what should I open up next? This is, oh, this is just a um a dashboard adventure is out is out there. And you see that the balloons have Mickey. That's very cle clever. And um, I guess I can start with these. These are stickers, but these stickers are not in the book. This is the sticker book. I know this is the sticker book. I don't know why these stickers are not in the sticker book, but we shall see. Um, oh, I guess she had so many stickers. She had to create another one, but this is like, I think this is the same thing over and over again. Just different color girls. So cute. And then here's the big sticker book, y'all. I have so many, y'all. I have so many of these sticker books. It's not even funny how many of these sticker books I have. I never use all of her sticker books because she gives you so many stickers. Um, I'm trying to be cute opening it. I just need to rip that joker up. Okay. So here's the inside of the sticker book, and she uses a lot of foil too. Uh, oh, and it's this brown. That's an interesting color. She has a brown and black thing happening here. And then she has some color. And then she has the different Monday, Tuesday. She has the colorful days of the week and then the black. And then she has some foils functionals. Some functionals that are not foil. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love these bulleted um, lists here. They're pretty. Oh, Mickey Mouse ears. Oh, I love, she had, puts a Rascar cart in all of her sticker books. That's her signature thing. I have tons of these and I use them to put my goals for the week in. And then here's some more babes. Oh, yes, very pretty, very nicely done. Her books are always nicely done, lovely. And then she always gives you die cuts to match um, all of the stickers. And let me tell you, you get a lot of die cuts in here. So, and I and I have these little boxes I keep die cuts in, or you can just keep um, you can just keep die cuts in an envelope. So I'm just going to spread these out so you can see 
how she gives you so many of these die cuts, but look, I've never gotten this many babes before. She has a lot of babes in this one. Wow. Okay. All right. She put every last babe in here. This is interesting. I am surprised that she did it like this because she normally does not do this. This is my first time. I've been with Honeybee Shop for a long time. This is my first time ever seeing this many babes in a pack. She went cray cray. Okay. Look at all these babes in here. Good gracious. She made sure you had more than enough. Okay. It's the whole. Oh my gosh, y'all. The whole pack are, is. Oh, okay. Here's a bow. <laughs> so all of those are babes. And then there's a bow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Shannon, why you give us all these babes like this? Oh my gosh. Here comes some more. Jeez, this has to be, I'm not even counting these, y'all, but the whole pack is girls. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Are these all girls? Okay, those are all girls. I'm going to move these girls out the way. Woo! She showing up, gave, I mean, she went cray-cray on the babes, honey. All right, here's the non-babe die cuts. Here's a planner, and that planner is really cute. Here's another, oh, here's a little Disney cup. That's cute. Some washi, more washi. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Oh no, it's a Disney clip. It's a Disney clip, like on your planner. It's a black and white babe. She goes over here. Um, Here's another cup. Oh, and she has some replicas in different colors. And then she has that, I have no idea what that is. Oh, this is cute. And then another one of these. Okay. Woo. She gave you all those die cuts, y'all. That's a lot. She might have broken a record with that many babes. I've never seen that before. She was like, oh, y'all want babes? I'm going to give y'all some babes today. <laughs> all right. The last thing I want to show you from my Honeybee Shop subscription is, and I need to get some scissors to cut this. Um, is the paper, which is always lovely. Her paper's always lovely. So this is just black and white. It's not foiled. But on the back, you have the Disney, um, castle where they have the fireworks. So, and she always gives you two of each. So you can use the front and the back. Oh, I like this paper. Oh, yeah, show, show. Oh, I love the bows. You can either use it like this or you could just cut out each individual bow if you want. And then the back, oh, she has the other die cuts on the back. I love the way she coordinates the stickers, the die cuts, and the paper. It's always, always coordinated. So I usually use the Honeybee Shops um, subscription to like set up a planner. It's easy to use to set up a planner because she coordinates everything. So you can literally get a blank planner and a Honeybee Shop subscription and you set. You don't even have to think about it. And this one is, well, and I really don't like yellow, but I like this. The way she did it, I can definitely see myself using this paper. And then on the back, ooh, she has all the Disney things on the back. Look how it coordinates. Oh, look at that. So nice. And this is the shape of Mickey's ears. I don't know if you can see that. She has it all in the shape. So again, you can cut these Mickey ears out. And then that's the paper. And then now she always gives you vellum and um, acetate. So look at that vellum. So pretty with Mickey Mouse on it. And that's like holographic. Very nice. And then she also gives you acetate, and she gave it to us with the Mickey Castle. Very pretty. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Honeybee Shop really came through for Disney. I'm so excited because I have never been to Disney World in Anaheim, California. I've been to the one in Florida a numerous times over the years, but not the one in um california i have never been to that one in california so i'm really really excited all right hey tanya 
Tania, Tania, hi, Tania. Ah, I miss seeing you too. How are you doing, Tania? We gotta go to a meetup, girl. Yes. I miss you too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till we start doing meetups. I'm gonna be so excited. All right, y'all. So I'm finished with the planner stuff. Um, so now I'm going to show you what I got from the stove. So now we get to good stuff. The stuff I just bought from the stove, put all my money on. So I went to Ulta, y'all. So what I'm about to show you in this bag came from Ulta. So excited. All right. So I, I needed more masks because, um, you know, as you go on, as you go outside and you wear your mask now, you realize that some of your masks, you can't really breathe in right some of you can breathe in some of you can't so i needed to re-up on my um masks and of course i couldn't take it out the pack so i don't even know how this looks um oh yeah they're nice they're nice mask you're trying to get some set up for august okay okay sounds good i can't wait let me know i will be there I will be there. So I like these masks. I got these masks from Alta, y'all. Um, I need to get my receipt because I don't know how much this stuff costs. I have no idea how much this costs. I just know I just spent way too much. <laughs> All right, it is. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, so I got those masks. I have so much stuff in here. I figured I would have put this stuff and I'm finna show it to you. And then I got these bags, y'all. I like cute stuff like this. This is 12 reusable bags, but they have flowers on them. They're so cute. So let's see if I can open and open up one. Cause I, I don't know how um how big these bags are. But these are reusable bags. You can use them for different purposes. You can use them to put your planner stuff in. So I got these bags from Ulta, y'all. Oh, they're like a little, a, a size for little knickknacks and stuff. This is cute. And it zip, it's a zip, it has a zipper on it. So guess what? I need one of these bags right now, y'all. Guess what I need one of these bags for right now? All those planner babes that that lady gave me up in my subscription. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these die cuts in here for right now so I won't lose them. All right, so now I got a purpose for one of these bags already to put those honeybee shop die cuts in. So I got those from Alta. Yes, please, please, please like and subscribe. I would love to see you on my channel. I normally don't come on this late. But y'all let me know if y'all like this little late night surprise, okay? Because I will do it again. Um, okay, so this one is Neutrogena Cleansing Towelettes, but it's the Hydro Boost. And it removes, like, all of your makeup. So I've used other makeup removers. None compares to this. Neutrogena is the best makeup remover, y'all. I've tried many other makeup removers. This one is the best. They're really big. The makeup wipes are really huge. Um, let's see. I don't want to really waste one, but I just want to show you how big this makeup wipe is. See how big it covers the whole thing. These wipes are really huge. And it smells, oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. That smells good. So let me see if I can put this back in here so it won't dry out. I'll probably use it tonight anyway because I do have makeup on right now. All right. I'll use it tonight. If I don't, this is going to dry out. Um, I think that was like $5. And then, okay. So... Let me know if you use, um, oh, you love those? Yeah, Neutrogena is the best. Let me know if you use these Essence products. They have this Essence, like, section in the store. I love their mascara. So I actually, when I saw this foundation, I said, well, let me try their foundation because I've, I've tried their eyeshadow, their eye pencil. I've tried their mascara. And, and it's very cheap. It's like a wet and wild. 
but it's essence. And I, I really like it. So this is Hydrating Foundation, the Neutral Cashmere 170. Um, I tried to get one that's close to my skin color. This looks dark, but I couldn't go any lighter because the other one just looked like way too light. So this is how it looks outside of the pack. And it's um, liquid foundation. Now, I like powder foundation, but sometimes when I want to beat my face to the gods, you know what I'm saying? I use liquid foundation. So that is um, the Essence Liquid Foundation. Okay. So, and see how this doesn't have the number on it? This has the number on it. This doesn't. So I have to keep the box. Because if I don't keep the box, sometimes I don't remember which one I got. Um, let me see if I can find the mascara. Did I get the mascara? Or did I put it back? Yeah, so I got, this is the mascara. It's called the False Lashes Mascara. Extreme Volume in Curl. That's Essence 2. Essence. Come back here. <laughs> Stay. And then, what else did I get? I got this eyeliner. This is Essence Brown Eyeliner Pen. This is, oh, I can't even. Why can I take this off? Okay, there we go. It's an eyeliner pen. So that's how it looks. And that's the color because it just got on my hands, like dark brown. And. Oh my gosh, these things don't stop rolling, okay? That's the pen, that's the eyeliner, and that's the foundation. So you see how I try to get like, hi, Tanya, how are you tonight? Girl, we doing a late night girlfriend chat, girl. We talk about makeup, we talk about planner stuff. We just having a little late, late night little chit chat. Um. Oh, I also got this one. This is called the Super Precise Eyeliner. That's the black one. So that's the liquid black eyeliner right there. And I think that's it. I think those are all. I was trying to grab all the Essence products out of here. So let me just make sure. Did I get some lipstick? Um... Yeah, I did. I got some lipstick. So I also got some Essence lipstick. So those were the Essence products that I got. Um, so, oh, Theodore Linda, you use Essence lip gloss. Now, Theodore Linda, I got that lip gloss one time, and it was burning my lips. I don't know what was happening with the lip gloss. I don't really like the lip gloss, but I did try it. For some reason, my lips was allergic to their lip gloss. Um, but it's not, but I... These things right here, I use all the time. So I know I'm not allergic to those. And I'm trying to open up. They would not let you open up this um, lipstick, y'all. So this is my first time opening it. But this is the Essence Lipstick. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, yeah, that's pretty lipstick. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So that's Essence Lipstick. And this color is called... Naive number four, naive number four. Maybe I can see that long lasting. All right, so these are all the essence products that I got. Joan, I'm glad you like the bags. These are the essence products I got from Alta. I'm gonna put these back in the bag because if I don't, the stuff will be everywhere. All right, so the next thing I got, I got some more lipstick. This, this is e.l.f. lipstick, and this one's more like a purple. It's called Hydrating Core Lip Shine, and it has a little heart in the middle. I've never seen that before. It's a little heart in the middle. Y'all see that? That raised little heart? Why is that heart in the middle like that? That's really weird. But this is e.l.f., so I'm going to put this right next to this one. Oh, this one's lighter for sure. Look how light that is. That's lighter. So that's like, you know, on a nice summer day, you just want a light, light color. That's a lighter color. That's e.l.f. Okay, and then this one is L'Oreal. 
This is L'Oreal um, 127 Paris, New York. And let's see how different this is. Oh, that's not really different from the first one. It's a it's a little more purple than this. It's a little more purple. All right. And you know, because of COVID, you can't try, you know, the lipstick on. So I had to make a good guess. <laughs> um, hi, Lavinia. Good to see you, lady. I'm never on this late, but I, I caught you from Fiji. Maybe we're on the on the same time zone now. <laughs> Um, so, and then I got this lip butter. I got this lip butter from like a random place in Ulta, but it said it's from Sugar Lips. And when it said lip butter, I was like, oh, that sounds nice. And it has shea butter and rose ship oil. What the heck is rose ship oil? I have no idea what that is. Hmm. I just tried to smell it. It doesn't really have a smell. It doesn't really have a smell. So, but it's like it's shiny. I don't know if you see my hand shiny. It's very shiny. So those are all the. Oh, well, I got one more lipstick. I got one. I, I went lipstick crazy. I really went lipstick crazy because that's what I needed. Like I didn't really have rose hip. Thank you, uh, Tania. Rose hip. I don't, what's a rose hip? I never heard of rose hip before, but thank you for clarifying that. And then I got this little sample. It's very moisturizing. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so this one is called Myrrh Matte Lipstick from, it's a mini MAC. Isn't this show shoe? I didn't know they did mini MAC lipstick too, y'all. Did y'all know that? They show shoe. So, um, I don't know how this is too. Like I said, I couldn't try anything out in the store, but look, it comes in a little Mac, um, classic Mac casing. Oh, that's definitely a different color. That's different. That's lighter. That's lighter for sure. Yeah, so that's a little sample to see if I like it. Because when MAC was really big, I used to get MAC lipstick, but I didn't really like it because MAC lipstick would always come off on my teeth. It would drive me nuts. I would use these like little L'Oreal elves and stuff, and they would not come off on my teeth. But this one right here be coming off on my teeth and just make me so mad. So that's why I just got a little MAC one to see if I like it. And then I got a, also a sample NARS um, concealer because I am running out of concealer, but... I use the um the um Too Faced concealer and I don't really like it that much but I'll see. So this is NARS. This is just a sample concealer. I want to see if I like it. Well, that's that's pretty light. I don't know what that's going to conceal, but that's pretty light. I'm patting it like I would do a blender. <laughs> That's pretty light. I don't know. Maybe I got. I got a, the thing is too light. But I can. I can blend that sucker and then put some foundation on top of it. I bet you I work it. I bet you I work it. Okay. So that's what I got out the little mini section. And then I had to re-up on this beauty blender. Now, this is the real beauty blender. This baby right here is $20, y'all. $20 for this beauty blender. But honestly, I think it's so worth it. I tried so many different beauty blenders, the cheap ones. They don't blend like this. This thing is magical. And guess what, y'all? I didn't know that this beauty blender comes with a cleanser. The beauty blender people made a cleanser for the beauty blender. Y'all, yo, I didn't know they did that. I was like, this is some high class stuff. They got a cleanser for this. So this is actually my second one. And I got an older one that's really used up. <laughs> so I want to try to see how good this cleans my older one. Now it says scented with lavender. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells good too. It's scented with lavender. It's scented sponge and brush cleanser. So this also cleans brushes. I had no idea. 
Please let me know if you use Beauty Blender Cleaner because I had no idea they even made this. So I also bought, this was actually on sale and I can't get this little thing off of it. But I bought this Eco Tools. Eco Tools are like natural um, products. But this one's on sale. This is also makeup cleansing and shampoo. The Eco Tools, they have a whole line. The Eco Tools have a whole line. So I got th these two are going to last me a long time to clean my makeup brushes. In fact, I'm going to clean up my um, blenders and my makeup brushes tomorrow because it takes them like a day to dry. It takes them like a day to dry. Tania says, I've used their solid cleanser and you like it. Oh, they have solid cleanser? I had no idea. I had no idea. So thank you. I know the sales lady told me that they had solid cleanser, but I told her I wanted the liquid. Because the way I like to clean, I have the little thing from five and below that you like rub the brushes against. So I like to use the um, liquid ones. So I have a couple more things that I got from Ulta, y'all. Let me move, move these out the way and put them in a the bag. I got these. Now you might think I'm crazy. Y'all might think I'm crazy. These are color highlights you put in your hair and they're purple. <laughs> and you see how what she's doing? She's like, she closed it on her hair and she's pulling it. She's rubbing it through her hair. Y'all, y'all might think I'm crazy, but I got these for Go Wild. When you go to Go Wild, people wear purple in their hair. It's so fun. And I was like, next year I'm gonna get me a wig. but. I might still give me a wig, but one day I want to try this out. I want to try. So I got two of them so I can practice <laughs> with this one. But I got two of them, y'all. So I'm going to have like purple streaks that go wild. So you may not recognize me at go wild, okay? <laughs> so it's so funny. And then the last thing I got from Ulta... These were on sale for $3. I never used these before, but they were originally $6. So I got them for almost half off. These are hair masks. And it's for strengthening and restoring. It's for coarse and coil textures. So that means I'm black. They talk about me. Coarse and coil textures. So I got these two because every time I... Uh, switch my hair from straight to curly. I use a mask to re moisturize it. Michelle said, LOL, purple is normal color for me. Oh, yes. Michelle, you are the color queen, honey. I'm going to have to get some pointers from you to how to use this. <laughs> All right. So that is my stash, y'all, from Ulta. Now I save the best for last. I'm going to show you now what I got from. Home goods. So I didn't get anything big from home goods. At least I don't think so. So I got a couple things from home. Well, this says TJ Maxx, but I went to home goods. <laughs> so, and yes, I did get some stuff for my dog. I did get some stuff for my dog, y'all. My little Marco. Marco, I'm getting used to Marco, even though he still drives me nuts, but I'm getting used to him. So I need some paw wipes because Marco is wild and he goes outside and he makes a mess or he, I don't even know what Marco be doing. He just be making, like today, I guess he really wanted to go outside and he saw his harness. He went crazy and he knocked over his bowl of water all over my wood floors. I wanted to go cry cry. Okay, so Marco is like a baby, okay? <laughs> so I got these Paul Whites for Marco because I always have to wipe something up after him. Uh, Joan said, I used to wear MAC lipstick. Oh, you did? Do you still wear it, Joan? Do you still wear MAC lipstick? Let me know. And let me get this stuff off my hands. I actually have some Clorox wipes that I just keep in my room. Well, for me, um, so I'm just gonna wipe this makeup off. 
come off. You can tell the good makeup is not coming off. That's that matte. <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough. All right, so I got those. Um, and they randomly put this stuff in the bags, y'all. So I have to show it to you randomly because they randomly just put the stuff in the bag. I don't, I don't know what they were doing. Um, but anyway, y'all, look how much this costs. $4.99 for Ray Dunn um, journals. I love the Ray Dunn font and stuff. I just think it's so cute. You know, my style is like farmhousey. So I really like this farmhousey stuff, y'all. And on the back, it says dream. Isn't that cute? Two Ray Dunn notepads. So did the, the Linda said, yes, that lipstick is pretty. Did you use regular lip gloss or the venom lip gloss? That one made my lip itch. Oh, okay. I might have used the venom lip. I might have used the same one that made your lip itch. <laughs> so I'll try the other one. I'll try the other one too. So I want to show y'all how these Ray Dunn journals look that I got from Home Goods, y'all. It has a little stitching right here on the side. And that's the inside back cover. That's the inside front covers, numbers. That's weird. I don't know why they put colorful numbers in it like that. That's kind of weird. But the paper is very nice. These are nice journals. I can use these for work. I can use these for my um, academy, Success My Way Academy. So they're the same because I, I use a lot of journals for my business stuff. So I really like these. And you can't beat that both of these together were $5. I thought that was a really good price, y'all. All right. What else did I get from Home Goods? See how they bag the stuff up and then they tied it all tight. So, like, I don't even know what's in this bag. But I'm glad they gave me all these bags because I, I use these bags for various things. Okay. Jeez. This lady really wrapped this stuff. So, in my bathroom, I keep my toothbrush and everything on my Listerine toothpaste. Y'all yeah, know I love Listerine toothpaste in this little red thing that I've had for years. Like it's time for me to throw that thing in the trash. So I found this beautiful phone stand and organizer um, because when I'm in the bathroom, y'all, I like to be on my phone. I listen to, um, and here's my phone right here. Hold on. I want to make sure it's quick. Okay, look at that. My phone fits perfectly on it, y'all. So I could be on the phone looking at YouTube videos in the bathroom and while I'm getting ready and stuff with my um, toothbrushes and stuff in here. So I just really like this organizer. It's what I need, and it's not too big. So this was $10 from Home Goods, and it's very heavy. This is like a marble. So I'm excited about this. Um, something else really wrapped up. Oh, let me show you. I know what this is. Let me put this in the trash. So I bought this to go with it. This is a a bath. I mean, a bar soap holder because I I like to use on my hands when I wash my hands a really nice scented bar soap. So I got these two to match to go in my bathroom because I want my bathroom to be have like a spa theme. So I have like I would like to have clean things like this in the bathroom for the spa theme. So that's for the soap, and this is for my toothbrush and stuff. Um. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I got this for Marco because Marco stays downstairs and sometimes Mar I'll be like well, why does it smell like dog down here I don't like it so my girlfriend told me that she has a dog way bigger than Marco but she uses a lot of stuff like this to like keep the smell the dog from smelling like Marco doesn't smell the house like my house doesn't smell like dog all the time but sometimes I'll be like Marco you need a bath <laughs> 
So this is called Sand and Paws, in, inspired at Dog Beach on the California coast. It's centrus sandalwood, it's soy wax blend, and it's made with essential oils and it neutralizes pet odors. That's why I got it. And I smelled it and it smells divine. And look, it has a little uh, message. It says, Sand Plus Paws was created by three women. Oh, this is a women-owned company. Yay. Created by three women who love candles and their dogs. Enjoying many fun days with our furry friends on Dog Beach in Southern California has led to too many wet and sandy paws to count. Hoping we can bring light and happiness into your life. Christy, Alisa, and Jill. Oh, 100% cotton wick, sustainable wood lid, soy wax blends. Please repurpose. Wow. Come on, women. So this was created by three women. I'll let y'all know how it smells and, and if it really works with, I'm going to put it right over there with Marco in. And see if it, it works to help counter that smell. <laughs> All right. Some more glass stuff in here. I don't know why I got, oh, I know what this is. I got a, a couple of these, actually. So, I saw this and I cracked up laughing <laughs> mama four but i have a little uh oh you said nope no more mac lipstick girl i know but i have a little five-year-old and i am an old mama y'all i'm 45 with a five-year-old so i am a mama bear with my little five-year-old boy i'm always on him calling his name asking him what he's doing talking to him i am a mama bear <laughs> so I bought this Ray Dunn, and I love Ray Dunn cups because they had that awkward little shape. I love that. And it was only $5.99. It was $5.99. And it says Ray Dunn on the bottom here. See that? I thought this was so cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to really drink out of this or use it for something, but it's so cute. And I got a couple of these. I got another one somewhere. This one, this I actually got for my pens. Uh -oh. Please don't break the ray down. Okay. This one I, I got for my pens. It says right because you can't see, but I have like all my pens right in front of me in little things like this. And I have another um, ray done one here that says inspire with all of my. See, I have pens in here, but this one says inspire. So I love, I love Ray Dunn. This is old. Um, so I was going to add this one to the collection for my pens. So this for my pens, this one I might just drink out of it for fun while I'm on the computer all day at work. So both of these are Ray Dunn. So I, they have a lot of Ray Dunn stuff at home. Um, I got another Ray Dunn somewhere. Let's see. I'm not sure if it's in here, but let me move this out the way. Mama Bear, I love that. Um, I think this might be it. Oh, no. This one says, Le Hustle. <laughs> I got this because it was on sale for $3. It was just $3. Le Hustle. I hover in the... Um, clearance section when I go to Home Goods. And I love the pink inside. I love the colors on the outside. They have the blue. So this matches my room. So I'll probably put this in here somewhere as decor. Le Hustle. And oh, I saw this soap. Like this soap was expensive as heck. But this is the type of soap that I like to put in soap dishes for my hands like that, see? And it, oh my God, y'all, I don't even have this soap next to me and I can smell it. It's Italian lemon soap. 
and it was $3.99. This is expensive soap, $4 freaking soap, but this soap lasts forever in a day. And I just use it to wash my hands. It smells so freaking good right now. I could smell it right now. It's not even in front of me. I love that. I'm big on I'm big on smells. All right. And I can't show you this whole thing. I can show it to you folded up, but these were $10. And I got these pants. These are some pants. Um, they're like sweatpants. Because I'm very casual right now. I'm not really like dressing up to go anywhere. And I have a lot of shirts, but not a lot of, I'm messing my lighting up, not a lot of pants. So I like these and I, I figured I could wear these with the t-shirt and keep it moving. Um, so I got two more things, y'all, and that's it. So in front of my door, in front of my door, I have a white uh, table. Whenever we get mail, people just throw the mail on the table. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I can just make it look pretty and put this on the table and just stick the mail in here. So this will go by my door. And I was shocked at how at the price. It was only $7.99. See, it was only $7.99, y'all. This was pretty good. I thought that was a good price for this. And it's wood and it's farmhousey like I like. So this is gonna go by my front door and with the mail in it. So I'm so excited because right now the mail is just like thrown on top of the on top of the thing. It's driving me nuts. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you tonight. And the biggest thing I bought from Home Goods is this salad bowl. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this salad bowl, y'all. When I saw this, I was like, that's so pretty. And I've been looking, I have been looking for a good salad bowl, just pretty, uh, pretty presentation when you present it for dinner. And so I'm not sure if these utensils came with it, but it was it, like when I saw it in a store, it was like laying in it like this. So um, the price of the utensils was $3.99. And then look, the bowl, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like this pretty white. And look how, how much the bowl, y'all. It was only $7.99, y'all. $7.99 for the bowl. So I was like, oh my gosh. And it says, Naturally Danny SEO. So that's who made it. Naturally, Danny S SEO made it. But this is just a gorgeous bowl. I cannot wait to, um, I'm going to take this off. I cannot wait to wash this really good and then use this, oh, to pick up my salad. Oh, I love it. So I like finding little stuff like this at home because it's cheap, it's beautiful, it's pretty. Thank y'all so much. I know I love it too. It's so shoot. All right, y'all. I also bought some dog treats, but I already gave the treats to Marco. So, oh, wait. I thought I bought another one of these. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I only bought one. I thought I bought another Ray. Or oh, maybe it was this one. Maybe I thought I bought two, but I only bought one. Cause I don't see. Let me just double check. Maybe I had two and I put one back. I probably put it back. Nope, cause I don't have it. All right. Yeah, these these are the only ones I got. So that's it. All right, y'all. How'd y'all like that? How'd y'all like that? Uh, happy mail and haul. That was so much fun. Now. You know, I now I can put all my stuff away <laughs> because I always gather like all the stuff I want to show you in, in here, and then it, it takes me a while to put everything away. So <laughs> I am finally now going to put everything away and clean up. Maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you all liked it. Um, so yeah so thank y'all for hanging on with me tonight this was incredibly fun 
Um, I'll probably do this again at some point. I know I'm getting another um, Honey Bee Shop subscription, a new one coming very soon. So maybe I'll do this um, one day next week or something like that. Who knows? Depends on how much time I have and what I'm doing. So I really, you don't mind the late night, Mama Michelle? That's good to know. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, the hard part now was going to be to put all this stuff away. <laughs> it's going to be to put this stuff away. <sighs> but um, it's very nice. So. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed night. What time is it, y'all? I don't even know what time it is. Oh, my Lord. It's 11.15. All right, y'all. Well, I hope y'all had some fun. Um, I'll be back on Monday. I'm doing um, my passion planners on Monday. And then I'll circle back for Worship Wednesday next week and Success Saturday. Oh, oh, Carla, it's early for you. You must be in California, Carla. Are you in California? Are you in California, Carlin? You say it must be early for you. Let me know. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm in here yawning. <laughs> so I'm going to go. But um, until next time, y'all have a blessed, blessed night. And I'll see you soon. Bye, friends.